friends, this is Fire on Pop, and this is another edition of my Armed Citizen Stories. And this is this one coming right out of First Freedom Magazine. And uh, this is the NRA publication. Now, if you're not a member of the NRA, uh, don't let me lecture you again. <laughs> okay? Uh, they do a lot of good. They are they're a champion our gun rights in Washington. So. Uh, we need to support the NRA. Now, I can't find my page. Back. Okay, this we've got here, Armed Citizen Stories. So, without further ado, let's get right to them this morning. Martha Lewis was at home with her two daughters when she heard a loud noise. It was 3 a.m., so Lewis immediately called police and grabbed her gun. She went to her daughter's room and told them each to get something with which to defend themselves. They were at the top of the stairs when a man who had kicked in the door and entered the home spotted them. When the man started up the stairs towards them, Lewis warned the intruder that she would shoot him. When he ignored her warnings, Lewis fired, fired causing him to stumble outside where police found him. The 25-year-old man was hospitalized in stable condition after an incident. Lewis said there is no... There's, there's so much talk about banning guns and gun control, but therefore protection. There's no way I could have fought him off. And that happened in Dora, Alabama. Amen, sister. Uh, there for protection. Absolutely. In the home or otherwise. <clears throat> a 36-year-old man wearing black gloves and a mask over his face entered a Dairy Queen restaurant carrying a samurai-style sword. The man approached an employee, Marco Webb, 20, unsheathed the 41-inch blade and swung it into the cash register several times. Then Webb's older brother, Christian, 23, also an employee, witnessed the man's violent behavior on the surveillance cameras from the back of the restaurant. He immediately took action. Christian emerged from the back with his 9mm handgun and shot the assailant twice. Police found him lying uh, wounded just outside. He later died at the hospital and there was no rep no other reported injuries and that was in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. <clears throat> Guns and Ammo Gunsmith was targeted by three uh, burglars shortly before 4 a.m. The store owner, Stephen uh, Bayes Jr., 57, and his wife were asleep in the apartment at the back of the business when they heard a loud crash accompanied by an activation of the silent alarm. Bayes uh, grabbed a rifle and found three men loading guns into a van that had crashed through the side wall of the store. Bayes fired multiple times after being threatened by the men. He then retreated to his bedroom to reload. Then Bayes emerged. He witnessed two of the men drive away, leaving uh, behind their accomplice who was badly wounded. The burglar later died at the hospital. The other two burglars were found a short time later when they sought help for injuries of their own. And that happened in North Augusta, South Carolina. Yeah, these guys aren't too bright. Two women were taking a walk in their neighborhood one morning when they encountered two loose pit bulls, a male and a female. The male dog attacked one of the women, 48, biting her right elbow and leg. Aggressive, the aggressive dog had a victim on the ground when a neighbor heard the screams. He came outside to assist the injured woman and her friend when the dog repeatedly turned on him. I'm sorry, dog reportedly turned on him. Then the dog came at the neighbor in an aggressive manner. He shot the dog in the shoulder with his pistol. The dog ran off but was later found and euthanized. The female pit bull was not involved in the attack and was taken to the local animal shelter. The victim of the attack had suffered a broken elbow and was taken to the hospital to be treated. Neither the woman's friend nor the neighbor had been injured. And that was in Remington, Wyoming. When a 23-year-old male followed a woman from the garage area of an apartment complex and assaulted her, the woman went to the apartment for help. The tenant, a friend of the woman's, was home with his young son. The woman told him the man following her had tried to grope her and made unintelligible statements to her. <clears throat> then the tenant 
allowed her inside his unit and closed the door. The man began pounding on the door. The tenant grabbed the gun from his bedroom for protection. Before he was able to call police, the perpetrator kicked in the door of the apartment. Then the intruder took several steps forward. The woman and the boy, the tenant, shot him. He was pronounced dead at the scene. And that happened in Oakland, California. Good to hear something great coming out of California. Lisa Gould called police when she noticed a man lurking outside her house at about 1.15 a.m. Just two minutes into the call and the man broke through the glass of a kitchen window and entered the home. The 28-year-old intruder refused to leave and attempted to enter Gould's bedroom. Gould uh, retrieved a handgun and shot the man once before instructing him to leave her home once again. Despite suffering a gunshot wound, the intruder reportedly came at Gould, causing her to fire two more rounds. After suffering two gunshots to the neck and one to the abdomen, the intruder was pronounced dead at the scene. And that happened in Gastonia, North Carolina. Great stories. Uh, one and all teaches a lesson to always be prepared. Uh, uh, too many cases here. Uh, uh, poor woman in, in her apartment parking lot getting attacked uh, and groped. Uh, not necessary. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed these stories. This is uh, Farm Around Pop. Be safe out there and God bless. Bye now.